Students from Kenyatta University have develop, developed a ventilator prototype, which could be a game changer in the fight against coronavirus in the country, especially now that ventilators are scarce globally due to the surging numbers of infections. NTV's Sharon Baranga brings us that good news. Ever since learning institutions were closed the third week of March, Kenyans online have been taunting university students asking whether they were staying at home with other learners from primary and secondary schools while their counterparts from other countries across the world were researching on a possible vaccine. But today, 15 students from Kenyatta University have proved they are working hard to help save humanity. It took the team seven days to develop this prototype of a ventilator. A project that was birthed after it emerged that a number of COVID-19 patients were losing the fight as a result of not having access to ventilators. The students together with their lecturers say they used locally available materials that cost the institution 500,000 shillings to assemble. And today, Trade and Industrialization Cabinet Secretary Betty Miner, accompanied by the Principal Secretary for University Education and Research, Simon Nabukwesi, were here to witness the fruits of the team's labor. Necessity is the mother of invention. You've come up with this invention at the right time and it's a step beyond the ordinary boundaries of uh, routine engagement. A collaboration team from the School of Engineering, Pharmacy, and medicine is credited with the work on the prototype. We came up with one in seven days, and it's a prototype, which is the hardest phase in a project. Mm -hmm. Then I believe we can make more in a day. Since the prototype is working, production is going to take a very short time. So in a week, when we start, we can produce 50 of these uh, uh, ventilators. From the global coronavirus pandemic patterns, it is evident that the ventilators are a lifeline for patients who get critically ill. The doctors uh, in the room today have confirmed that this ventilator can work and they have no hesitation in recommending it and uh, deploying it uh, in hospitals once all the certification uh, is in place. Meanwhile, the government has received more testing kits from Bosch in Germany and is planning to roll out mass testing for the coronavirus. We do even hope perhaps in the coming two or three weeks to engage some of our um, facilities that have been testing for TB across the country. Almost 193 machines that are available. We have received kits from Roche, diagnostics, uh, enough to be able to test 7,000 persons. And the beauty of what we are going to deploy is that now we will be able to do more tests in a shorter time. With the prototype unveiled, the only thing left is an approval from the Ministry of Health to start production of actual use with a projected capacity of 200 ventilators a month. Sharon Baranga, NTV.